this is Shiro uh, from Voltron, the newest Voltron, uh, robotic arm. Uh, I'm not going to get into why he has a robotic arm because that is part of the story. But my story is that a friend of mine was going to cosplay, or did cosplay, as Shiro and wanted to and needed a robotic arm for the costume. And I said, hey, I love making robot arms. This is actually like the third robot arm I've ever made. Uh, I'll, I'll make it for you. And here it is. Firstly, it's made in two pieces. Uh, this is so that you can put it on and off easier. The way that you can, that I've made it so you can put it on and off is that there is some Velcro underneath which detaches these pieces and so you can slide your hand inside this fabric glove which holds the whole hand together. The black pieces are made out of uh, plastic from uh, art folders. The silver is a uh, plastic, well actually the silver is a book covering like, you know, like back in the day you would put some um, some covering over your books for your school books to make them look better and you can recognize them anyway. Uh, that is covering over the top of a harder plastic and I just went to $2 shop and I bought myself some uh, placemats, like some plastic placemats, some cheap materials, and originally just got the shape by using some cardboard, was like figured out that was about the right shape, and then I like, cut it out of the plastics. Everything uh, is um, stitched onto this fabric glove. And to hide some of the stitching, you can see that there's some extra um, pieces. This is also an extra piece, and that is hiding uh, the stitches. Um, you can't, I didn't do it on everything, but you can see that it's stitched on. Uh, just because I don't really trust glue that much, like I prefer stitching instead of glue or wiring things on instead of glue uh, but you know, eventually you do have to use glue and that's where the, the panels come from so that is the hand oh, also look at that killer detailing that's the fun part you know like it's a hand that's around the knuckle area these action doing a lot of punching pretty nice well I like it <clears throat> and here is the rest of the arm you can see the nice shine going on this uh, metallic uh, book covering uh, stuck on really nicely but it was a little bit too shiny so I needed to uh, scratch it up with some sandpaper and I add some details there is um, just like the glove it has this also has three layers it has the harder plastic then the softer um, uh, book covering uh, so that it can flex a little bit because this is the elbow joint right here well here is the elbow joint and on the inside you can't see it but there's some fabric and that is just to protect the wearer because um, I'm all about safety design wise it's uh, because it's based on a cartoon there is a lot less detail in the cartoon than uh, so if I just made it very s simplistically I just wouldn't be satisfied myself with the result so I added some uh, some details, but really tried to keep uh, the spirit <laughs> of the uh, of the 
the original design such as like this line across here that's kind of in the show there's some back panels along this edge these cutout pieces uh, here and here and here those are me trying to make it look fancier these two lines here are to try and fake some some movement and uh, the original design actually doesn't have a cut along here it's just like one smooth piece that goes down and when your elbow joins everything flexes so in the cartoon it works but not reality so that's where I had to come up with that um, extending piece also a lot of this elbow joint is uh, this armpit elbow I, I guess I'm not sure what the, the front part of the elbow is but um, there's a lot of design in, in here from me uh, I needed something that could bend and flex and part of the shape here it cuts in and it goes inside in between la different layers of the plastic to uh, shrink and expand here's just another detailing uh, it's supposed to be very similar to the in the show they have like the, the V for the Voltron so that's kind of like a, a V and I've like you know uh, replicated that in different areas you can kind of see this is a V there's a V unfortunate you can see the ear bubbles used to glue that down a bit but it's been worn and torn a little so yes the the design kept on flowing through I had to add this extra piece and another piece along the underside of the elbow that is just to hide um, how it's held together basically but also meant to look good you can see that there's one hole here and this is uh, my one admitting to failure part and that I had to add in a bolt I didn't want to I was doing so good and then I got to this one point and I was attaching the top piece this el this elbow part is actually a lot more complicated than what it looks like so it has two pieces and then the elbow so it's really three pieces joined together to create the movement so it's basically you have two pivot points because we're not robots so and things when they bend they expand uh, you know, like with fabric, it stretches so you don't see it, but and with skin, our skin stretches so you don't see it. But when things bend, it creates more space, and when things contract, it has less. Duh. So it needed uh, two pivot points just to create this um, movement. Now, the problems of being human. <laughs> but anyway, this uh, dot here was, I had to join the, the forearm piece, uh, the silver forearm piece, to the black elbow piece, and it just wasn't happening, and so I had to use a bolt, just one, and the reason why I didn't want to use it is because it, it's metal, it's actually metal, and it can hurt uh, when you're wearing it. So I, on the underside, there's needed. It. Uh, it's like a putty that uh, dries very hard, and so that is used. I've got the reason why I left the hole there is because I thought one day if I have to repair part of it, then I just get a screwdriver, unscrew it, pull it all off, and it should be easy to get back to. Speaking of getting of easy access, love that segue. Here is where you put your arm, th your hand through, 
and as you may realize, most people, their hand is bigger than their wrist. And so, to create a good join, uh, yeah, I suppose, uh, you need to make the wrist able to expand and then contract. So there's some Velcro and some Velcro around your knee, right there, stitched on, you can see some glue. And so when you're putting your hand through, the process is that you put the arm on first and then you put the hand on. So you put your hand through, then you put the glove on, then you put this back and then put it up as tight as you want, like that. And that means that the arm won't fall down because uh, it won't go past your hand and uh, everything should stay in one place and it kind of works. So I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Uh, oh, some of the paint detailing, that is just paint, and uh, some of those silver marks, because the plastic itself is actually black, I painted a little bit of silver over the top, just so that you could see it, because it's so dark, you can just, it just adds a little bit when you're moving it around. I love to step back, it looks great. Like I've been holding it close up, you can see but to me, it looks really good, just stepped back. I'm really happy with that. And uh, the reflections. Uh, I tried to pay attention also to how the light moves on the objects, on the hand. That's about, I mean, I could probably talk a lot more about how everything was made, but that's, you know, mostly everything. Uh, so yeah, uh, if you've got this part, this far through the video, then yeah, you must really not have too much to do, huh? I'm kidding, thanks a lot. Um, yeah, and yep, if you you know, got any questions, feel free to leave a comment and and I'll try and answer them. Uh, and thanks for watching. See ya.